good morning children welcome back to our online teaching in today's science session let us begin with a new lesson lesson number 5 substances in the surroundings their states and properties contents of today's session change of state of substances heat and change of physical state the temperature and a thermometer boiling freezing various uses of changes in physical state these are the contents today we have to cover assignment questions are also given so let us start with the first session of this class change of state of substances solid liquid and gaseous are the three states of substances when a substance changes from one state to another state the process is called change of state of the substance in the picture in a dish pieces of wax has taken and after that it kept on a burner then it starts melting you know sometimes at home also when light goes current is not there electricity is not there at night if inverter is not working what we will do we will simply lit up a candle so you have to observe the candle the length of the candle will be in full length or very tall one after 10 minutes you observe the candle light the size or the length of the candle will be less so where the candle disappeared it starts melting and it converts to vapor we couldn't able to see after that so that is an example for change of state here in the Uh, experiment also they have shown that change of state of wax wax in the solid state then as it melts it turns when a substance changes from one state to another state the process is called change of state of the substance the state of a substance changes if it is heated or cooled a specific amount of heat must be gained or lost before the state of substance can change in 19th century the scientist j willard gibbs showed that the characteristic properties of a substance depend on its physical state and the arrangement of particles in it yes the scientist willard gibbs he showed the characteristics depending upon the arrangement of the particles in it or it may be arrangement of the particles in solid the particles are so thickly arranged how the matchsticks are arranged in a match box that way the particles are very thickly arranged in solid substance that is what it is very heavy you can see it but can you able to see gaseous substance once it vaporizes can you able to see uh, water vapor no it is there in the atmosphere there the particle Uh, will be in a very far away in a zigzag manner it is not so compact like uh, in uh, solid or in liquid even liquid also it is not very uh, compactly packed but little gap is there between the molecules that is how uh, we, that is what willard gibbs discovered the scientist here the experiment you can try at home this next is heat and change of physical state that is the next topic we have to learn here various substances in different state naphthalene gold's are there some liquid state some cubes are there different states they have shown on gaining heat the substance changes from solid to liquid and liquid to gas that is what the next one on the other hand when the substance cools or loses heat it changes from gaseous to liquid and liquid to solid state that is the uh, next the temperature and a thermometer you all are familiar with thermometer where we are using thermometer 
in hospital hospital when you have fever you will consult a doctor that time what the doctor is doing or the nurse they will come and keep one thermometer under arm or inside the mouth this is the thermometer see one uh, mercury red signal is there that means it measures the temperature nowadays digital thermometers are also using a thermometer is used to measure temperature degree celsius is the unit of measuring temperature there are several types of thermometer available nowadays digital thermometer are frequently used various types of thermometer next content boiling yes this is familiar to you you can uh, just uh, go to the kitchen and observe how your mother is cook boiling uh, water for a tea preparing the tea then you can see how the water boils when water kept on a stove attains a particular temperature or level of heat then we see water bubbles rising at faster and faster rates to the surface and steam mixing in the air this is called boiling of water or ebullition in the picture inside a beaker half beaker of water is taken then it is kept on a burner it starts boiling at first 20 degree celsius temperature was later on it gains more heat from the burner heat and it turns to 50 degree celsius later on you can see that some bubbles are coming up from the beaker and then it turns to 100 degree celsius that time we say that uh, water boil at sea level pure water boils at 100 degree celsius you can uh, ask your mother to show whenever she is preparing a tea for you we can just show that how water is boiling this experiment along with the help of your parent you can do this simple experiment boiling this is the boiling point of water what is it 100 degree celsius the temperature at which a substance boils while heating is the same as the temperature at which it condenses when it is cooled both are same substance boils while heating is the same as the temperature at which it condenses when it is cool next is freezing freezing means simply you can say it is the condensation of liquid things that is a simple meaning of freezing here one chart also shown while gaining heat boiling uh, the solid uh, it melts to liquid then liquid when we boil it turns to gaseous uh, water vapor then the water kept in a fridge or an on an ice becomes cooler and cooler that is its temperature falls at a certain temperature water does not get any cooling but starts freezing and forms ice at home you can practice you can remove ice from the refrigerator and you can observe uh, when you can remove the ice from the ice cubes first you have to heat it that means keep outside the fridge uh, outside the fridge temperature will be more than inside the refrigerator uh, it will be around 28 degree celsius or 30 degree so that time automatically the ice cube starts melt that is the uh, this one the temperature at which this happens is called freezing point of water freezing point of ice and melting point of water is 0 degree celsius freezing point of ice and melting point of water both are like uh, in the case of liquid also we said same only 0 degree celsius at 0 degree celsius uh, water turns to ice at 0 degree celsius water uh, ice melts also here one picture is there ice mel melting ice is turning to liquid water the temperature at which a substance freezes while cooling is the same as the temperature at which it is it melts when it is heated that's about freezing various uses of changes in physical state there are many uses physical state changes ice cream you all like na no? ice cream what is the state of ice cream mostly it is in the uh, solid state as you purchase from the uh, shop but afterwards if you don't eat and keep it outside the refrigerator it uh, slowly gradually it is turning to liquid state uh, this candles are made uh, by melting paraffin wax solid carbon dioxide or dry ice is used to make ice cream and you keep it frozen 
liquid nitrogen is used in animal husbandry silica or sand is melted to make glass Mel metals like gold and silver are melted to make ornaments the ornaments which we are wearing in the form of uh, bangles chain ring that is made up of gold or silver so we can they are melting they and uh, giving different different shape to these metals here in the picture ice cream is melting see how and candle then a uh, one mirror also which is made from glass iron is melted to make tools yes, we require tools in different field in industry near home also kitchen uh, we are using iron uh, this uh, knife for cutting the vegetables so that is also how they are making the knife melting the iron pieces or iron metal in different different shapes so that is about the uses of this one and carbon dioxide is another another name for carbon solid carbon dioxide is dry ice next is assignment you have to write the answers what is change of state of substance it is given the first slide only answer is given what is the unit of measuring temperature all know that degree celsius what happens when a substance gains heat it changes its state name the solid liquid and gaseous states of water very simple solid ice liquid water gaseous water vapor coconut oil thickens in winter give scientific reason winter the temperature will be very low you know that very cold time you are wearing sweater and come so that time coconut oil is normally in liquid state it starts condensing so that is the answer to this you have to write the answers in your science notebook that's about today's session thank you stay safe have a nice day